Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal and this YouTube channel covers all things related to Jerusalem and Israel. The streets of Israel's capital, Jerusalem, have some interesting names. There is the well-known Ben Yehuda Street, the main pedestrian street in Jerusalem city center, which is named after Eliezer Ben Yehuda. That's the guy who is credited with reviving Hebrew as a spoken language. There are plenty of streets named after great rabbis and other historical Jewish figures. There are some named after non-Jewish Zionists like Patterson Street next to the Orient Hotel in the German colony. But if you travel through southwest Jerusalem, through neighborhoods like Kiryat Yovel and Ir Haganim, you may have spotted a trend. There is Chile Street located next to Park Rubinovich. Just a couple of hundred meters north from there, there's a Brazil Street running in the direction of the Allen Hospital. Not so far from either of those is Bolivia Street, and Bolivia Street happens to intersect with Guatemala Street. So what's the deal? Why are there so many neighborhoods in one small suburban patch of Jerusalem named after various Latin American countries? Is South Jerusalem a thriving hub of Latino immigrants? Are there Brazilian barbecue places, salsa nightclubs, and... Sorry, I ran out of cultural stereotypes. Unfortunately, the answer isn't quite as exciting, but it's perhaps more significant. According to various sources, the Latin American streets in South Jerusalem are named after the Latin American states which voted mostly in favor of the Yuan Partition Plan on November 29th, 1945. In fact, there's even a street in Jerusalem named after the date on which the Partition Plan was agreed. In the Hebrew numerical system, 29 is transliterated as Kaftet. Kaftet the November Street, on which the Italian Consulate to Jerusalem is located, means in Hebrew, November 29th Street. So what was UN Partition Plan? It refers to UN Resolution 181 of 1947, which proposed separating mandatory Palestine into Jewish and Arab states. It was accepted by Jewish negotiators, but rejected by Arab states, who used it as a springboard to launch an all-out war against Israel. That became the War of Independence. 33 countries voted in favor of the proposal, constituting 72% of the total votes. This 33 included a 13 country block of Latin American and Caribbean countries. These are the states who have streets named in their honor in South Jerusalem. Other countries who voted in favor include Belgium, Denmark, Australia, and the United States. 13 countries voted against a proposal and 10 countries abstained, including six countries from the Latin American and Caribbean bloc. Note that not all the Latin American states who have streets named after them actually voted in favor of the resolution. Chile, for instance, was one of the countries which abstained and the municipality website doesn't actually mention why it got included. Perhaps because they didn't vote against the proposal? If you know the answer to this conundrum, let me know in the comments. Occasionally looking up street names does throw up some interesting facts. If you're interested in this pursuit, then I have a few resources to recommend. The first of these is a lookup tool on the Jerusalem municipality website. I'll leave a link in the description. Although the search tool only works in Hebrew, you can look up the name of any street in the city and find its history and who or what it's named after. In English, there's the recently published Jerusalem, a neighborhood street guide, which provides an English reference to the street names of Jerusalem. An updated 2023 edition of this popular title recently came to market. Thanks for watching the video. Until next time.